Hi, I'm Trin Perkins. Welcome to your Subtle Moves Chair Yoga Practice. Emphasis on subtle because we'll be moving slowly, making micro movements in each of these postures to really allow space to slow down and to tune in to all of the signals our body is trying to send us. We'll be a little quiet in this practice, so if you have some music that you'd like to play, uh, go ahead and do that now. I'm only using my chair. If you have arms on your chair, go ahead and lift those back. You're welcome to have blocks handy if you know you'd like to place your feet or your hands on them at any time. We'll be seated the entire practice. Let's go ahead and get started. Take a moment, maybe closing down your eyes or taking your gaze down to the tip of your nose. You're welcome to sit up as tall as you can, maybe moving your back away from the support of the seat. And you'll find your sits bones. They're often referred to as the feet of your pelvis, aptly named. So wiggle until you feel settled through your sits bones, through your hips. You can turn your palms down onto your lap if that's the energy that you need, or you can flip your palms up if that resonates more with you. And just noticing your body, noticing your breath, noticing each thought that passes through your head, your mind, acknowledging it, and allowing it to float away. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Another little sip of air at the top. And then fully exhale out through your mouth. Maybe setting an intention for your practice as you return to your normal, steady breathing pattern. If nothing comes to mind, you can borrow my intention for this practice to move in subtle ways that make space for me to really listen to my body. To move in subtle ways that allow me to make space to listen to my body. And you're welcome to flutter your eyes open, reorient to your space. And if you're not already, go ahead and sit up nice and tall on your seat. Move about an inch away from the back of the seat so that your shoulders can relax away from your ears and your spine can sit up nice and tall. You can keep your hands on your knees, start to rock your feet back and forth. So coming onto the heels as the toes and the arches lift, and then pressing down into the toes, especially the big toe and the pinky toe. Shifting back and forth. Maybe there's a few pops and cracks through the ankles or through the toes. We're not forcing any movement here, just allowing whatever comes naturally. Maybe feeling a stretch through the plantar fascia, the fascia that run, runs along the bottom of the feet, giving the toes a chance to stretch and wiggle, give a little space between your toes. And go back and forth one more time in each direction on the toes and on the heels. Then you can straighten out your right leg and just roll the ankle maybe five or six times in each direction. And left side, extending that leg, rolling your ankle five or six times in each direction. And going back to rock the feet back and forth. 
This time I want you to pay special attention to your toes as you bring your toes off the mat. So you can look down if you need to. Sometimes it helps to have that mind muscle connection to spread your toes, especially that big toe. Try to spread it away from the bunch. And one more time forward. One more time back, spread the toes. And plant your feet firmly on the mat. Take your hands off your lap and shake out your hands. Allow your arms to really shake out. And then take a big inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. Allow this to sit you up a little taller and then close and open your hands. Almost like you're blinking your your palms and your fists. So close down your hands really tight and then spread your fingers. It's okay if your shoulders scrunch up to your ears for this one. Blinking, feeling those long lines of energy from deep into your lat, through your armpit, all the way up your arms. And close and open your fists three more times. Here's one, two, one more and then slowly lower your arms come a little closer to the edge of your seat here and then you can extend your right foot so that your heel is down and your toes are up lift your arms up again big inhale and then as you exhale start to dive over your right leg maybe using your hands to trace all the way down to your feet and to your toes Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dive forward. One more time here. your arms all the way up. Bring your hands back down. And then take that right foot and tuck it behind the left. And then use your right hand to press your hip open. And if you need to on this, you can scoot forward on your chair a little more. We're looking to get a slight inner thigh stretch here and then also into the hip flexor on the right leg. And then we'll switch sides. So left leg extends, heel down, toes up. Inhale, and then as you exhale, dive down. Tracing your leg all the way down with your hands. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you lift. We'll go one more time here. And then reach your arms all the way up. Bring them back down. Tuck the left foot behind the right. And then use your left hand to help press the left leg open. And from here, you can scoot back to the center of your chair again. We'll move through a few rounds of cat and cow subtly here. We'll take it gentle. So keep your hands down on your palms. We're not gonna move our arms. So normally in the, the bigger movements, there's this excessive reaching down and maybe sliding the hands back. We're gonna keep it really, really settled, really gentle here. So keep your palms down on your lap. Start to tuck your chin, rounding your spine. Hands and arms don't move. And then shifting in the other direction. So pulling your chest forward between your arms without moving your arms. Maybe lifting your chin. And then exhale, go in the other direction.
allow your breath to set your pace here. So I'm rounding, tucking on the exhale, taking the air in as I open my chest and pull it forward. And then exhaling the full movement one more time in each direction. And then once you get to the tucked chin position, go ahead and hold there. Allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears, soften your fingertips. And stay here for three breaths. And relax your face and your jaw. And then slowly sit up nice and tall. And once again, shake your arms off. Your fingers are loose, like they're just floating on the tops of the ocean, wailing out your wrists and your hands and your arms. And you can take a quarter turn to your right. So you're sitting facing the side of your chair here. And we're gonna twist over to the right. So I'm grabbing the, the back of my chair and taking a twist. So relax that right shoulder away from your ears. Sit up nice and tall here. Feet are planted firmly on the mat. And then twist back through center and you can fold down over your legs. Here's a great place if you'd like to have a block between your feet to plant your hands. One breath here. And then slowly rise again. We'll take that twist over to the right. Coming back to center, folding down over your legs. One breath in the fold. Rise up. And we'll take that twist one more time to the right. And come back through center. We'll twist over to the other side. So if you liked that block, go ahead and take it with you and walk yourself through the center. And then a quarter turn to your left, taking a twist, grabbing the back of your seat over to the left. And then come through center, fold over your legs. Coming back up, taking that twist. And bring that softness back to your face. No clenched teeth or furrowed brows. Back through center, folding over. Rising up, one more twist. And then we'll do one more fold, just for good measure here. Folding down over the legs. And then coming back up through center, you can set your block aside. Turn to face the front of your chair. Come about close to the edge here and then pick up your right foot, crossing it over your left knee. And then bring both hands to your right knee here. Take another gentle twist over to the right. 
then back through center and rock that leg side to side, working a little more into your right hip, deep into the right glutes as well. And then find some stillness, walk your hands back over to the right knee, another twist. And then we'll switch sides. So picking up the left leg, placing it carefully. And even if you don't have any difficulty lifting your left leg, sometimes it's nice to just give it a little extra support by picking it up and placing it. It's a reminder to make your move subtly so that you can listen without flying through the movements. Back through center for that rock side to side. Stillness and another twist. And back to center, rocking side to side. Placing both feet back. We'll move through two more rounds of that cat and cow, the gentle one where your arms did not move. Chin is tucked, spine is rounded. Two rounds will be the combination. So we'll go through one more here. Coming back through center, take your left hand off the side of your, your hip here and bring your right fingers to the top of your head and you can bring your right ear to your right shoulder. You're welcome to close your eyes. If this stretch is too intense on the left side of your neck, you can bring your left hand right back to your thigh. And right arm goes down, switching sides. And do your best to sit up nice and tall. We have a tendency to kind of fold into ourselves when we do a neck stretch. But you want to sit up tall, allow gravity to also pull your hand down. And we'll go in each direction one more time. One more on each side. And both hands down by your sides and start to tuck your chin and trace your chin to the right side of your collarbone, looking over to the right. And roll through center, tracing your collarbone over to the left. Once again, sit up tall. You may have to lean back a little bit so you don't fold in on yourself. And one more time over to the left. Back through center, taking your fingertips to your shoulders, imagining a canvas on either side of you, the tips of your elbows being your favorite color, drawing big, huge circles on that canvas, and then going in the other direction. One more circle and relax your hands down. You can sit back into the comfort of your seat. Take a moment to tune back into your body. Maybe focusing back on the intention, 
the one that you may have borrowed from me to move subtly in ways that allow space to listen to what your body is trying to tell you. Maybe your body is trying to tell you that a little more softness and ease is exactly what you need in this moment and moving forward. <laughs> 